Today, I'm going to show you one of the coolest things I've ever tried using virtual reality. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Ricci, an adorable open source humanoid robot from Pollen Robotics. He can be programmed using Python, and when combined with AI, computer vision, and machine learning, he can learn to play games and complete tasks on his own autonomously. However, Pollen Robotics have come up with a novel way of being able to control Ricci, and that's with teleoperation using virtual reality. Ricci is actually one of the first robots of its kind to be able to do this. To put their teleoperation functionality to the test, Pollen Robotics invited me to take control of Ricci remotely over the internet. I'm actually over 600 miles away from Pollen Robotics. They're based in Bordeaux in France, and I'm based just outside of London. And using the Valve Index headset, I'll be able to see through Ricci's eyes, move his head, express emotions, and control his arms and hand movements one-to-one -one using the Valve Index controllers. And Pollen Robotics have kindly set up a number of fun tasks for me to complete, such as sorting blocks, drawing a picture, and even making a sandwich, which I'm told has never been done before whilst teleoperating Ricci using VR. I'll be talking more about my experience with Ricci and the future plans for this interesting robot at the end of the video. But for now, let's dive in and see what this robot can do. So, let's start with this little blue triangle. There we go. Nice. Easy does it. Oh, it's twisted. Maybe I can just tap it in. Hold on, let's see if I can tap it in. Maybe this way it might be better, actually. It looks easy, but it's really not. Yeah. <laughs> easy does it. And then I'm just going to knock it in with my right hand. Oh, almost. A little nudge. <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. Oh, I was so close. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting really good at this, Gail. So what I can show you now is some of the emotions that Ricci can express through his like kind of head movements. Angry Ricci, <laughs> he's very upset. So this is sad, down, aww, sad. This is uh, thinking, is that thinking? Yeah. Okay. So thinking, he... confused, I don't know. Something like thinking that. and confused, <laughs> that sums me up. Yeah, and this is my favorite one. This is when he's happy. <laughs> this is so cute, it's so adorable. This is going to be, like, worth the price of a Banksy. Check this out. <laughs> they were supposed to be round. Um, but that's okay. We'll just roll with it. So it was going to be a face, but now it's this shape. It's going to be a potato. <laughs> no, maybe we could draw a cat instead. Hold on. See, they're, they're, they're the eyes. Now I'm going to do the ears. Look at that. This is this is amazing. This is really coming to life. Smooth movement, Mike. Smooth movement. Okay, he's got one bigger ear. <laughs> so, he, as you can see here from the, the picture, he's not a very happy cat. He's quite sad, in fact. <laughs> There's his tail. And do some little feet. Or maybe he, he's he's quite a fat cat, so maybe he got fed too much, and they had they had to put him on a diet, and that's why he's so sad. So maybe I should sign it, so you know when we when we sell it, people can people know it's an authentic Mike and Ricci collaboration. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to draw on your desk. <laughs> I can't see because I'm crying so much. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And then just a little E. There we go. Look at that beautiful <laughs> masterpiece. Amazing. This is going to be the finest sandwich you've ever tasted, Gail. Cheese? Cheese or ham first? What do you prefer? Cheese first. <laughs> Give you a little happy, happy <laughs> emoji. Ooh, there we go. Not the plate. You don't want the plate in there as well. <laughs> the cheese will be enough. <laughs> How many slices would you like? <laughs> two slices. Oh, two. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. And one of ham would be okay. <laughs> two cheese, one ham. Got it. Coming up. This is Mike's sandwich restaurant of the future. 
Yes, look at that. Beautiful cheese on there. Yes. Come on, little ham. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just tidy this mess up. Lovely. Get a nice handful of salad. Ooh, look at that. Yes. Very nice. Oh, you you want the so oh sorry sorry you want the, you want some sauce on it okay okay let's try oh god ooh ooh do you like a lot of sauce scale in your sandwich or not so much <laughs> I'm not sure you can control this come um, yeah <laughs> there we yeah, go fine. yeah. <laughs> yes! Look at that! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Master chef, master robot chef, sandwich maker. Shall I try and hand it to you? Do you want it? Should we try and do that? Or do you want... Oh, yeah, you can. You can try. I'm coming. <laughs> one, one <laughs> happy customer. <laughs> so here's my conclusion after spending over an hour teleoperating Ricci. Despite being over 600 miles away, I was surprised that the latency was totally acceptable, and once I was used to how the robot was controlled, I was able to complete the tasks set by Pollen Robotics, albeit with sometimes questionable results. <laughs> The biggest challenge for me was trying to get a sense of depth perception as I was only able to see through one of Ricci's eyes. In local teleoperation mode, you could see through both his eyes, giving you a stereoscopic video feed in the headset. However, to keep latency as low as possible, this wasn't available for remote operation at the time of this video. Another issue I faced during the session was that one of Ricci's motors in his right hand got a bit too hot, so we had to wait a little while for it to cool down before we could go any further. But for the most part, it worked great. At first, it felt kind of strange as it felt like I was in the body of Ricci, even just seeing through one of his eyes. And it kind of reminded me of actually playing Stormland and looking down at my robotic arms for the first time in that game. Ricci has come a long way since Pollen Robotics started development on him back in 2016, initially starting with just the arm, then adding the head and the torso to end up with what you see today. In the future, they plan to continue development and add methods of being able to physically move Ricci around with wheels or possibly even legs. As Ricci is completely open source from the software to the hardware, he can be programmed using Python to do pretty much anything you can think of and can be adapted using 3D printed parts for a number of different use cases. He's not designed for industry or military applications though, so don't expect to see Ricci building cars, becoming a Terminator, or pulling people out of burning buildings. As the name suggests, Ricci is best at being able to reach out and manipulate small objects and provide fun interactions with the public. Ricci is available now and can be bought in individual components or as the full kit you saw in this video, which costs 24,000 US dollars. Now, although Ricci is available to anyone, he's mainly being sold to researchers and engineers who are testing and prototyping various application and use cases with AI, computer vision, and machine learning, where Ricci can work autonomously. Some examples of this are where Ricci can be used as an assistant robot for the elderly or people with limited mobility to help them out with everyday tasks. Other interesting and fun use cases are using Ricci to welcome guests at a hotel or at an event, using AI to detect if people are wearing face masks and, if not, handing them out, playing basic games and even making a cup of coffee. If you have any interesting ideas for use cases for Ricci, I'd love to read them in the comments below for both AI and teleoperation functionality using virtual reality. Both virtual reality and advanced robotics technology are still in their infancy, but it was awesome to see them both combined to get a glimpse of what these technologies could possibly provide in the future. Okay, so that is Ricci. As someone that grew up loving sci-fi movies and has always been fascinated with robots and tech in general, 
It was such a privilege to be able to take control of Ricci remotely for this video. And I want to say thanks to Gail and the team at Polon Robotics for being so awesome. It was an amazing opportunity and an experience I certainly won't forget anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, something a bit different and fun on the channel, then please leave a like and let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any questions about Ricci or VR in general, put them in the comments below and I'll ask Pollen Robotics to reply to your questions and I'll also try to answer as many as I can myself. Don't forget to subscribe for all my future VR content and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.